Hello, my name is Trevor from Splashtop, and today we're taking a look at the new iOS feature where you can uh, control an iPad with a mouse, and we're going to show you how you can take advantage of that feature when remote accessing a computer using Splashtop. So as you can see, here is our iPad. Uh, we have the iOS 13 update installed, and that allows us to use a mouse, and we have our Bluetooth mouse already set up. You can see uh, the cursor uh, moving around as I move the mouse. So just like how you normally would with an iPad, you're gonna open the Splashtop business app and select the computer you want to remote into. And this one right here, Trevor, that's my computer on the left here. So now we're remoted in, and again, just like normally with an iPad, you would remote in, see the computer, and be able to see it. So with this feature, instead of using your finger to control the remote computer, you can use your mouse. But you have to remember that it's gonna function similar to how you would normally control an iPad. What I mean by that is, if you wanna, for example, scroll, when you're on an iPad, you'd have to hold your finger and move it up and down to scroll along the page. So again, we're gonna to have to click to, to mimic our finger touching the screen and move it up and down to scroll. And just like how you would wanna click into a link, you would need to tap it, so we're gonna to click to tap. And then just one more example, normally on, on an iPad, if you want to perform a right click, you would press and hold for a couple seconds, then release. So I'm going to click and hold for a couple seconds, release, and that performed a right click. So with this new feature, hopefully you'll be able to work a lot more productively when remoting into a computer from an iPad or an uh, iPhone device. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up in your settings. You would just go to accessibility, touch, assistive touch, make sure it's toggled on, and then in the pointing devices, just make sure you connect your Bluetooth mouse. There is nothing you need to turn on or change in the settings on the Splashtop app. Uh, once you set up your mouse with your iOS device, it'll be good to go. You'll be able to uh, use it to control the computer you're accessing when using Splashtop. So that is everything you need to know. Uh, for more information, you can follow the link in the description. And if you wanna try Splashtop, go ahead and give it a seven day free trial and reach out to us and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.